Welcome to another LabVault tutorial about the 8960. This video will introduce you to a specific function called Small Wind Turbine Emulator. To get access to this function, make sure that your 8960-20 is equipped with the option 8968-30, which allows you to access this function through LVDAC EMS. Paired with the processor of a computer, the 8960-20 can reproduce the operational characteristics of a small wind turbine. Using the transfer functions of a real wind turbine, students can emulate, with great precision, the true behavior of a wind turbine under various wind speed and air density conditions from the comfort of a classroom. Coupled with the wind turbine generator and controller module, model 8216, this function is capable of covering the entire process of energy generation from wind power. To access this function, proceed by selecting Dynamometer Mode on the front panel of the 8960, then connect the 8960 to your computer using a USB cable, and then start LVDAC EMS. Once it is fully opened, click on this icon to open the 4-quadrant Dynamometer Power Supply window and select Small Wind Turbine Emulator in the Function Selection list. Now, let's take a look at the settings of this function. Wind Control. This setting allows you to decide what you will use to control the wind speed. You can choose the slider, here, or the 8960 command input on the front panel. Wind Speed. Ranged from 3 to 12 meters per second, this setting allows you to set the wind speed. Air Density. Ranged from 0 to 10, this setting is used to set the air density. Wind Turbine Type Select the type of turbine you want to emulate. Only one is available at this time. Pulley Ratio Sets the ratio between the pulley on the prime mover and the one on the machine under test. For accurate measurement, always verify this ratio to be sure the right one is selected. Value represents the number of notches on each pulley. Thermistor Type Choose your thermistor type in the function of what you want to protect. Type 1 is for nickel metal hydride batteries, and type 2 is for the lab volt motor. Status indicates if the function is started or not. Here are the meters showing the parameters at the shaft of the machine under test, the single refresh and automatic refresh button, the slider, and finally, the start-stop button to control the function. You can also find a graph explaining the function. This function is meant to be used with the wind power generator and control, model 8216, for a perfect emulation of a real small wind turbine. Just use the slider to fix a specific wind speed and vary the air density by tapping the number you want. Be aware that the prime mover really emulates the rotor of a small wind turbine, and thus we have all the characteristics of a wind turbine as represented by this graph. That's it for the small wind turbine emulator.